What's up everyone? Welcome to your 8th Dreamweaver tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to insert a background image to your website and also how to use rollover images which is a really cool feature. First thing I want to teach you guys how to do is add a background image. To do this, under your properties panel, go down to page properties and click that. Make sure you're under the appearance setting and you'll see how convenient a little thing called a background image. Just click browse and go to whatever image that you want to use on your website. I'm gonna click this easy house one again and just double click it. As you can see right now the default value is to repeat the images. You can also have it no repeat to show up once or repeat up and down or left to right. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and then click OK once you're happy with it. As you can see we now have a background image to our website and whatever text we type shows up over it. So this is how you can get a background image on your website. Obviously you wouldn't want to use one with a lot of cluster like this one but if you have like a basic gray or pale image then it's sometimes can add a neat effect to your website. So let's get rid of this. And the next thing I want to teach you guys how to do is add a, a rollover image. And these are pretty useful when you're making navigation bars, which we're going to be doing later. It allows you to take two different images, and when you roll your mouse over it, it's going to switch those images. So to do this, what you need to do is go up to Insert, and then go down to Image Objects, and go to Rollover Image and for the original image it's going to show the image that when you don't hover over it it's just going to display plain so I'm going to browse and I have some from the from a website I'm making somewhere else and I have two images right here and of course I need to do this but you won't need to do it just because I'm not saving this to my file so just browse and on the second one, so this first original image is an image, image that's going to show on your screen. And this rollover image is the image that's going to show up whenever you roll your mouse over that image. So make sure that this and this are not the sh same image or it's not even going to have an effect. So once you get two different images, you can go ahead and press OK. And Dreamweaver will automatically show you the image on the website. Now, as you can see right now, if we hover over it with a mouse, it's not doing anything. To test this, you actually need to test it in a regular browser. So let, let me go ahead up to a regular browser. And I'm going to go ahead and preview it in Internet Explorer. First we need to save it, make sure it's saved. And as you can see, if you have Internet Explorer, you might have to pop this, but if you're working with Firefox, then it'll be okay. As you can see, when I hover over the news button, it lights up. That's because this is my first image right here. It just has a basic news image. And my second image I made, I made just a little brighter. And as you can see, you can use these when you're making navigation bars and it gives the viewer something and it just lets them feel like they're interacting a little more and give them some confidence that know that what they're doing is making something happen. So to make this actually go to a link all you need to do is click with your mouse and when the border is around it all you have to do is go down here and type in the link on your website and then not only when the viewer hovers over it it'll light up but when they click it it'll take them to a new website so this is a awesome way that you can make sweet dynamic websites and awesome navigation bars in just a couple seconds so thank you for watching and in the next tutorial I don't know what we're gonna be learning yet but it's gonna be pretty awesome just like all my other tutorials and would you please if you're watching this on YouTube remember to rate my tutorials and thank you for watching. Thanks.